Well, news is coming in of uh, anti-India slogans uh, being raised in Bengaluru by Kashmiri separatist groups. Amnesty International had invited people to interact with the families from uh, Kashmir. During this interaction, there was an argument between Kashmiri pundits and Kashmiri families uh, over who were the real victims. When pundit families started praising the role of Indian Army in Kashmir, the discussion turned what has led to anti-India sloganeering by the separatist groups. Police had to intervene and bring the situation under control. Let me now go across to my colleague uh, Rohini Swami is joining me on the phone line for more on this. Uh, uh, Rohini, uh, what was this uh, occasion and uh, what action has the police taken in this case? Well, this was basically a campaign that was uh, conducted as a part of discussions by the Amnesty International, which is an NGO. And they had bought three families who are representing what they call broken families who have lost their sons. Uh, in Kashmir and they and the allegation is possibly they were picked by the Indian Army and they did not know what and, and the pain they've gone through to do, because they don't know what happened to their sons. This is basically a dialogue and a conversation that uh, they, this is a part of their campaign they've been holding across the country. It started in Bangalore and the point was that the two groups, one is the families who have lost their sons and also people from Kashmir and Kashmiri pundits from Bangalore who are to in, engage in a discussion. But at one point of time during the discussion, uh, one of the points that was raised was the fact of the role of the Indian Army and how they help uh, the country. And at that time, uh, there was a lot of uh, dissent that came up about in the conversation and uh, there was a verbal argument that, that led to it. And then is, that is when the sloganeering of Azadi started. Now, the whole yeah. point here that is being made is that uh, while most people say that the call for Azadi was generally a very it was a simple call from Azadi from the Indian Army. The police are investigating. They have taken the footage of this entire event. They've also asked the Amnesty International who held this event okay. to the entire footage so that they know whether the sloganeering was anti-national anti or whether it was a sloganeering for that particular time, for that particular incident. Thank you so much, Roini, for bringing us all those uh, details. Uh, so uh, outside Kashmir, also this uh, verbal spat in which uh, people shouted, Azadi slogans for Kashmir.